Welcome back to Father and Son Investing. Today's video will cover buying treasury bills within an IRA account, particularly a Roth IRA account. We'll cover why that can be beneficial, and then I will use my Vanguard account to show you just how simple it is to put treasury bills into a Roth IRA account. So let's get started. Some of you may not be familiar with a Roth IRA account, so we're going to quickly cover this courtesy of the folks at Napkin Finance, I really love this graphic here to discuss Roth IRAs. If you're not familiar with it, it is similar to a traditional IRA account, except for the fact that you put after-tax money into this instead of pre-tax money. What does that mean? That means that your money will grow tax-free in a Roth IRA account versus in a traditional IRA account where you're going to owe some taxes when you go to take money out of that. Now, there are some benefits to having a Roth IRA versus a traditional IRA. Particularly, you can withdraw your contributions penalty-free anytime. So in that sense, it can act like a savings account, giving you some liquid assets, some access to cash. Now that we've discussed a little bit about Roth IRAs, hopefully you have a better understanding about them, let's go ahead and discuss why you might want to purchase treasury bills, notes, or bonds within a Roth IRA. You may already know that these investment vehicles from the U.S. Treasury are not taxable by state and local governments, but they are taxable by the federal government. So by purchasing them within a Roth IRA, you are excluding taxes on these Treasury entities for the life of your Roth IRA account. Now let's talk about why purchasing them now may be appropriate. First of all, many of these are very short term. You can buy them as short as four weeks. With the stock market being volatile and quite honestly seems to be on a downward trend, although certainly we are seeing some rallies periodically, but overall on a downward trend, your money is decreasing within traditional investment vehicles such as stocks and ETFs. However, these treasury bills, notes, and bonds come with a guaranteed rate from the U.S. government. Unless the U.S. government were to default, you are guaranteed to receive your return on your investment. All right, now that we've discussed Roth IRAs and why you might want to hold your treasury bills in a Roth IRA, let's go ahead and show how easy this is to do on Vanguard. From your home screen, the easy way that I have found is you type in search and type in treasury bills. If you click on buy treasury bills and then come down in here to this link that says buy and sell bonds and CDs, go ahead and click on that. On this screen, you'll see whatever accounts you hold at Vanguard. We'll go ahead and click on the Roth IRA. There are several ways into purchasing treasury bills at Vanguard. One of the ways you can do it is simply by clicking on the type of treasury that you're interested in based on when it matures. If you were to click on this one to three month maturity date, you could click here and it will give you options that you can pick to purchase. Now I'll tell you that if you go into it through this route, you're really purchasing on the secondary market. You'll see that the, tr the settlement date will be one day from when you're purchasing, which generally is not the way that they work at auction. So I'm less interested in purchasing on the secondary market. I'm more interested in purchasing at auction. So I'm gonna back up and we'll get to another way to get in here to purchase your treasury bills. So the other way to go about purchasing them so that you can get them at auction would be to click on treasuries here, and then it will ask you whether you want to buy in the secondary market or at auction, and I want to click at auction. It then gives me options that I can choose from. In this case, it only gives me the one month and the two month treasury bills to purchase at auction, and it tells you when the auctions open. It also tells you when the auction cutoff date is. So in this case, I'm purchasing just before the auction cutoff date, which would be tomorrow morning at 9.30 a.m. for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click buy on the two month treasury bill, and then it will allow me to put in how much money I would like to purchase. I'll just put in $1,000 here, and we'll go ahead and click continue. From here, the last step is just simply to hit submit purchase, and I've just purchased $1,000 worth of U.S. Treasury bills that will mature on 2-7-2023. Those will be eight-week Treasury bills. That is it. That's how simple it is to purchase a Treasury bill, note, or bond through Vanguard. In this case, I put it in my Roth IRA so that I won't pay taxes on any of those earnings while I wait for what I hope will be a little better time to purchase ETFs and bonds through Vanguard in just a few months when I expect that the market will have continued to come down. 
I hope this information was helpful for you. If it was, please give us a thumbs up. And as always, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Share this type of information with a young person in your life. And until next time, enjoy your investing.